Oh yeah, how we doing? Not an unboxing. Uh, we'll do a presentation about a razor that is coming to the market in the near future, and then we'll do a shave. So the razor is from Alpha Shaving, Steve Tinder in Hong Kong. <coughs> presentation absolutely first class. So you get a labelled jiffy bag and the razor comes in a box with a sleeve. Obviously take the sleeve off, open the box. What's in the box Martin? Nothing. I've already got the razor out. But inside you can see it's foam lined with a cut out for the razor and a little bit about it. So this razor is the Alpha Bandit. They have the Outlaw which they retail themselves and through Executive Shaving. And the Bandit is a new razor from Steve. Excuse me. Oh, that's better. Uh, but it's coming to the market in the near future. This is a pro this is the only prototype. It's his own, his own razor. Uh, it's on a pass around on one of the shaving forums in the UK. Uh, the razor comes with, very, with various parts, i.e. three base plates, one top cap, two handles. So we've got the full demo kit. Anyway, this is what we're talking about here. The Alpha Bandit, as you can see, it's brass. This is the solid solid bar with channels. It has a pineapple handle. There we go, handle length. Shouldn't have a bulldog on it. There we go, compared to a bulldog from Icon, so it's quite a little bit longer than the Bulldog and it's it's got a bit of heft to it the handle is 94, 97.4 grams right, there's one top cap so the top cap is there it's very much akin to a, a blackbird in my opinion We have the uh, posts for the blade. Of the base plates, there are three base plates on this prototype. We'll do the last handle, next handle last. So the first base, the stock base plate is the open solid bar with lava channels. There we go with that. You can see machining on it is absolutely sublime, spot on. Logo on the bottom from Alpha Shaving, you can see it, hopefully you can see it there. And all the base plates are the same. The solid bar comes in at 22.6 grams. So with the top cap and the brass handle, it's got a very long thread on it. I'm not even sure it would fit on a bulldog. But I quite like hand razors with long threads. The uh, Timeless, they're the same. Yeah, it fits on a bulldog handle, so you could change handles out to something else. So it's standard thread. So in this configuration, with the, the handle, top cap, it's a good looking razor. I found it to be very efficient. In this configuration, yeah, total weight is 136 grams. Fowler, colonial colleagues, it's still working ounces. That's 4.8 ounces. So, as I say, it's got a bit of heft to it. The other two plates that came with it, one is a solid bar, but there are no 
channels in it. I have tried this one as well. This comes in at 25.6 grams. The only, it's good for the lather shots because you get, there's nowhere for the lather to go. But I found that it clogged a little bit on. But it was minimal, it really was. There was a little bit of thick soap residue and it was thick soap. Maybe I didn't hydrate enough. So that's the, the solid, solid bar. And last but not least, we have an open comb which comes in at 23.1 grams. And in the open comb configuration, show you what that looks like. There's the open comb configuration there. So, the other handle Steve sent across was this shiny one. Exactly the same pattern, same design, same knurling, but this one is titanium. So, like I said, the bass handle is 97.4 grams. This is 54.3 grams. And it totally changes the balance of the razor. There we go there. Totally changes it. Gives it balance point. It's certainly in the head. Balance point is on the upper section of the knurling. And with the brass one, the balance point is going to be, yeah, not sure. Let's have a look. There we go there, there's the balance point. So the upper, head and upper end of the first cut out. So it totally changes the the way the razor feels. In use so far, it's been fine. I would compare it to a blackbird, but without the aggression that a blackbird has. I did I have used a blackbird, I did own one for a while. The only top end razor that I've sold on. Just couldn't get on with it. This I've had some cracking shaves with it. Speaking of which, let's have a shave. Right, let's have a shave. I'm using the open comb configuration for the first pass. So, one thing I forgot to mention was this razor is a prototype, hence the reason it's in brass. It's easy to machine and cheaper than stainless steel. The retail version will be made in stainless steel. Uh, Steve isn't sure yet whether he's going to sell it as a kit with the open comb plate or, and the solid bar or whether you order each one individually depending on what you want. So there's the blade loaded up as you can see there's a, there's a bit of blade exposure but it shouldn't be too bad. And the blade is Persona Platinum brand new on its first use. The soap, I'm sticking with the alpha shaving sort of theme. In the past, Steve has collaborated with Wickham from Darren Barnes, who also makes soaps for the groom room, and it's a citrus, I'm still in a citrus sort of theme. Mei Chang, this is lemon, absolutely gorgeous. And the brush is my 3D printed Alpha shaving, shaving designed. I have them printed. Still have some available if people want them. Uh, 26 mil silk smoke. Second pass, we'll do the solid bar with the channels, and after that, we'll switch out for the titanium handle. 
so we'll see how it goes. Having used the razor so far, just for the solid bar, it's efficient without being aggressive. I don't know, the only spec I don't know is the blade cap. But blade gap numbers are totally irrelevant. So people get hung up on them. I can't use that, it's only got a 3mm blade gap. I need something of the 16. It's total shite because it depends on the curvature. The amount of blade exposure, whether it's negative, positive, or neutral. The gap numbers are totally misleading. I've got a decent load in there. I said this razor is on a, on a pass round. It is Steve's own razor. Uh, it was the end of the world, but the Royal Mail managed to hook it up. Fortunately, it should have been insured anyway. Sending from person to person. And this one will go on to the next person on the on the loan list. When I'm finished with it, probably is early next week. So I want to use the soap whose base I know pretty well. I know Wickham quite well. I know this brush pretty well, should do, I made it. This isn't a home 3D print, this is a, a commercial print made by a company who print parts for F1 cars. It's not your average back bedroom 3D printer production. Got a soap paste without virgin's milk in it or emu sperm or that's as good as anything on the market. Wickham is a vegan soap paste. This base is tweaked from the normal Wickham base as it's made purely for the groom room in Dundee and only available from them in this scent and base. So oh, the open comb. As you can see it's laughing at the stubble, going is that all you've got? You could actually go to work on that quite easily. But it feels extremely comfortable to use. Obviously all the weights I gave yesterday was the brass razor and I understand that Steve might have if you like the brass and you don't want it in stainless, there may be a limited run of 20 brass versions made. There will be a link in the description below to Alpha Shaving. Uh, yeah, it's efficient. nimble with a thin head and 
the open comb, the solid bar have the, the same blade gap. So obviously this is an open comb, so a little bit more blade feel. Right, change the base plates over. Open comb off. Solid bar with lather channels on. Yeah, we'll leave the brass handle on for now. It's not, it's not smooth, but you can certainly go to work on it looks wise. Uh, well I could anyway, and again I don't have anybody three inches from my face just checking whether I've had a shave that day. But it would be good enough to wear even the most severe PPE that we have to wear at work occasionally. That would work with that shave without an issue. So the solid bar, there's the, the blade load in the solid bar. Visually it doesn't look as aggressive. but you certainly know it's taking hair off. For me that is an extremely comfortable razor with a solid bar and it's been lovely to use. Right, let's change handles to the titanium. Totally different look. Totally different weight profile, different balance point. Yeah, it feels totally different in the hand, the razor. Handle design is spot on. It's I say it's very much akin to a, a pineapple sort of design, and it just works. The light handle, I think, benefits it.
Yeah. That is as close a shave as you're going to get. I could go against the grain down here, but he says dragon razor over it. I'm not going to. I did that last week on a three pass shave and I got a bit of razor burn. Don't need the aggravation, do you? I'm more than happy. With that shave. Yeah. Apart from the weeper, which cold water has hopefully sorted out. We're good. Crack and shave. Maybe the cold water didn't sort it out. Anyhow, there is now a matching splash for Mei Chang. Um, when I bought it, there wasn't one. It hadn't been made. So, I've got some of my DIY witch hazel and aloe vera. It's got a bit of alcohol in it. There's a bit of feedback, you know. You've had a close shave, yeah, a little bit of feedback, and I've got some balm as well, which we'll do in a minute. Right, you've seen the soap for today. The brush was my Alpha Shaving designed 3D printed 26mm silk smoke. Easy to use works a treat. The blade was a Persona Platinum on its first use. Get that back in the wrap there. And the razor, a prototype Alpha Shaving Bandit. The retail version will be stainless with a limited edition brass version like this available I believe so solid bar open comb and there's a solid bar with no lava channels which gets a bit clogged inside for me but it works but I prefer this solid bar of the, the two hence the reason I didn't use that in the, in the video. We also paired it up with a titanium handle which totally changes the balance point and dynamics of the razor. Uh, I think it benefits from a lighter handle. The razor itself, slim profile, head, head design, I would say it's akin to a black lounge blackbird. And the efficiency is probably about the same. But where's the blackbird would bite you every so often when you'd least expect it? This doesn't feel like it's going to do that. It's a very good razor for a, I know that's the third prototype, like version one, version two, version three, before they got it right, and each one cost a fair bit of cash to get produced. But Steve, you, if you watch this. You've got a very good product in your hands here. Uh, as I say, it's on a pass round from one of the UK forums. Bit of balm now, everything's a chance to go off with Rhode Island soap works. This has got a lemon scent to it. So it's like it's a shea butter based. It's like a puck. It's a shea butter based balm. So a little on your fingers, in the palm of your hand and your body heat just warms it through and melts it. Mm. And it's quite refreshing. It goes all that soap as well. The 
there we have it folks, the Alpha Shaving Bandit. If you have any questions, don't ask what the blade gap is, because I don't fucking know. If you have any questions, apart from what's the blade gap, <laughs> leave them in the comments below. There'll be a link in the description below to Alpha Shaving. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.